I have for the past two years only used one trekking pole because I like having one hand free to do other stuff like taking pictures, shooting some vids or just take a sip from a water bottle. So now when I bought a new tent that needs only one long trekking pole and mine was too short, it was time for an upgrade and the one I found was the Competent Camera Staff PL. What? Yeah, I know, it's a monopod as well as a trekking pole and one of the reasons I chose it. It is always nice to get multiple use out of your gear, right? And I believe this might be the perfect trekking pole for anyone really that enjoys vlogging, taking pictures or shooting vids during the hike. So stay tuned for a closer look at the Camera Staff PL and all of its features. When I found this camera stuff online, it wasn't out in any store. The only one that I could find was an old version with a weird cork ball on top. Super weird. So I reached out to Compadel and asked them when this trekking pole was to be released and they said yeah. But they also asked me if I could do a review on this trekking pole if they were to send me one for free. And of course, right, why not? The one thing I made sure of was that this review to be an honest one. So I have no obligation to tell you anything positive or give you any information other than my honest opinion. Now to the question, what is the camera stuff PL? The stuff itself is made from three pieces of high grade aluminum that weighs in at 270 grams and with three intentions of use. The first one being the most obvious one as a trekking pole and for this it is just perfect. It is adjustable from 72 centimeters like it is now to up to 150 centimeters. So it should fit anyone really, no matter your length. And it is super easy to adjust with the power locks uh, to the correct length needed. Pull the first part out to the marking that says extend to here and lock the power lock. Then adjust the second part to the desired length and lock me. I'm like a 122 centimeter guy. The grip is made of a soft cork and super comfortable and because it is so long you can easily grab onto it a bit lower down when doing shorter inclines if needed without the need of opening the power lock and that saves both time and effort and makes it really versatile. The strap itself is really soft and nice and possible to adjust to different sizes of hands and it is not too thick so it won't cause any problems with chafings or uh, discomfort. The second one would be to use it as a tent pole and especially for tents that use only one trekking pole they most of the time need a trekking pole longer than 140 centimeters or you need to bring an extender. Uh, in this category you can see tents like Altaplex from Seedpacks or my new tent that meters one person from Bonefus. And here you can see my tent pitched at 142 centimeters. Nice. The locks I've noticed are super strong but I can't understand the reason why I didn't make it with this quick lock system I have on the one from Leki, where you can adjust the closing force with your hands only by turning the knob and tightening the screw. Now if you need to tighten the power locks to close with more force, you need a tool. Not sure how often that will occur and it could probably most likely be tightened using a knife and most people bring that anyways. But this is good to know that this is potentially could be a problem to tighten these ones on the trail if you're not bringing a tool. The third use of this stuff would be as a monopod or a selfie stick for cameras and phones and if you just unscrew this top you have a quarter inch thread to mount a camera or gear onto and this is a standard more or less and most cameras and adapters and stuff comes with a quarter inch thread. For this application and to be able to use the stuff as a selfie stick I have bought a new phone holder from Smallrig called the Universal Metal Smartphone Holder. I will link to it in the description if you are interested to buy one. I can now mount the holder onto the camera stuff. And then mount my phone onto the holder just like that. And angle it to the perfect angle to be used as a selfie stick. Look at that! Isn't it great, right? And as a bonus it also features two cold shoes, one at the top and one at the bottom to be able to attach a mic, for example. And my second purchase for the purpose of being able to shoot good vids when out hiking was a mic. This is the uh, shotgun mic called Simon Wave S1, a small and affordable mic. And just like with the holder, I put a link to it down in the description. Now when everything is mounted and ready to use, it looks something like this. 
Really small, lightweight and practical. And now I want to give you one example of the picture quality and sound quality using this combination. Hello, hello fellow hikers. This is just a test to show you when I use this combination regarding the picture quality and the sound quality using my iPhone 13 and the Simor shotgun mic. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. So what did you think? Is this a perfect combination for anyone with the need or the urge to do videos on the go? Uh, leave us your thoughts about the picture and sound quality using this combination by leaving a comment. The total weight for this setup is only 104 grams, including the cords needed. And for that you get a reasonably good mic and a holder made of aluminum instead of cheap plastics. And it doesn't take up much space in your backpack and could easily be stored in a fanny pack for example for easy access. But, and with a really big but, and although this is a really good solution, it comes with three clear downsides. Number one and the biggest downside is that you can't be used as a monopod after you pitch your tent. If you want to do any shooting after that, you need to bring something else or do without. The second downside is the weight. The camera stuff isn't the lightest option out there and, and even if it is nice not having to bring an extender, a carbon fiber trekking pole and extender is the lighter choice. The third and final downside I would say is the power locks. Although being really strong and good, it is a downside not being able to adjust them with your bare hands. So see to it that you bring some kind of tool to be able to adjust them if necessary. Now if someone would ask me if I recommend this trekking pole slash monopod slash selfie stick slash tent pole, I would say hmm, absolutely. It is long enough to work as a tent pole for most tents, it is strong enough not to break anytime soon and it has a very comfortable grip with the possibility to also to change the grip when needed during hiking without the need of opening the power lock. And with the monopod slash selfie stick solution it is perfect also for photography and anyone recording videos for YouTube or any other platform. All in all I am very satisfied with this combination and I'm so much looking forward to using it on my hikes and being able to shoot more hiking videos because I know a lot of you have asked for content like that. But now to the question what do you think? Is this a good or a bad solution? And maybe something that you could consider using yourself? Leave a comment and tell us all about it. But for now this is it and if you liked today's episode take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope to see you again next week but for now take care, safe hiking and bye bye.